साथ साथ तक B.F. Skinner, an American psychologist and an ardent inventor, once quoted, "A failure is not always a mistake. It may simply be the best one can do under the circumstances. The real mistake is to stop trying." Our webinar experienced technical glitches yesterday, and we were left with no other choice than calling off the event. And today, here we are, back with more energy and zeal to give our best shot again. And because our founder, Chairman Sir Sri G C Lagan, always believed that success is achieved and maintained only by those who try and keep trying. On this note, let's begin the celebration of ATL Showcase Community Day, June 2021. Technology can become the wings that will allow the educational world to fly farther and faster than ever before. Technology not only provides students with access to countless online resources, but also aids them in the learning process. And our Bal Bhavan Public School had already started to utilize technology within the teaching methods. The evolution of technology has impacted every aspect of our lives. from banking to the way we communicate with each other in fact technology has become an integral part of sustaining society and its infusion with education is therefore inevitable a very warm and hearty welcome to the galaxy of intellectuals director sir shri bb gupta principal sir mr vivid gupta head mistress ma'am mrs kavita mehrotra senior wing head Mrs Neha Gupta ma'am academic coordinators teachers and my dear friends i sarthak and i sameksha welcome you all to the celebration of atl community day every month we celebrate the achievements and contributions of bal bhavanites to science and technology this day serves as a celebration with great enthusiasm and focus on imbibing do it yourself teamwork and innovation for all to teach business skills at school level our school had already introduced the market management as a vocational subject for the senior secondary students so the subject the student study basics of money management and introduction to financial markets wait sarthak instead of telling about everything that we do Let's watch a short video which will give a quick glimpse of evolution brought into the business management through technology. Here is a video display of an innovative business app. कैसे आप सिखाना चाह रही हूँ जो आपके डेली बेसिस में आपकी बहुत हेल्प करेगा तो इस ऐप का नाम है खाता मोका तो जो पहली चीज आपको करनी है वो आप इस ऐड कस्टमर ऑप्शन पे जाएंगे और अगर उस कस्टमर का नंबर आपके पास पहले से सेव्ड है आपके कॉन्टैक्ट लिस्ट में तो यहाँ पे बस उनका नाम टाइप करिए और उस पिन पे क्लिक करेंगे तो वो ऐड हो जाएंगे अगर उनका नंबर नहीं सेव है तो आप बस ऐड न्यू कस्टमर ऑप्शन पे जाइए उनका नाम उनका नंबर लिख के कॉन्टिन्यू करेंगे तो वो ऐड हो जाएंगे फिर पूछेंगे कि आर यू गेव सिचुएशन ज्यूम कर लेते हैं कि किसी ने आपसे प्लीज शेयर अगेन
आज मैं आपको कैसे आप सिखाना चाह रही हूँ जो आपकी डेली बेसिस में आपकी बहुत हेल्प करेगा तो इसे आपका नाम है खाता भूखा तो जो पहली चीज़ आपको करनी है वो आप इस ऐड कस्टमर ऑप्शन पे जाइए और अगर उस कस्टमर का नंबर आपके पास पहले से सेव्ड है आपके कॉन्टैक्ट लिस्ट में तो यहाँ पे बस उनका नाम टाइप करिए और उस उन पर क्लिक करेंगे तो वो ऐड हो जाएंगे अगर उनका नंबर नहीं सेव है तो आप बस ऐड में कस्टमर ऑप्शन पर जाइए उनका नाम उनका नंबर लिखे और कॉन्टिन्यू करेंगे तो वो ऐड हो जाएंगे फिर पूछेंगे कि आर यू गेव और यू गॉट ऑप्शन आएगा आपके पास तो जैसे एक सिचुएशन जूम कर लेते हैं कि किसी ने आपसे हंड्रेड रुपीज़ का सामान लिया और उन्होंने सिक्सटी रुपीज़ दे दी तो फोर्टी रुपीज़ बचे हैं तो अभी आप यहाँ पे फोर्टी रुपीज़ डाल दीजिए और जो भी उन्होंने सामान लिया है वो यहाँ पर डाल सकते हैं उसकी इन्फॉर्मेशन तो मैंने भी पेंसिल डाल दिया फॉर एग्जाम्पल और उसकी इन्फॉर्मेशन की किस दिन वो सामान लिया गया था और उसका बिल भी आप अटैच कर सकते हैं तो यहाँ पर आपने सेव कर दिया ट्रांजेक्शन अब थोड़े दिन बाद जैसे वो पर्सन आपके पास फिर से आया पैसे लौटाने तो आप बस यू कॉट ऑप्शन पे जाइए और यहाँ फोर्टी रुपीज़ डाल दीजिए और वो सेम इन्फॉर्मेशन और सेव करेंगे तो ये वाला ट्रांजैक्शन भी सेव हो जाएगा और अब इस पर्सन के नेम के आगे जीरो रुपीज शो करेगा मतलब उन्हें अब और पैसे नहीं लौटाने अब जैसे जो मैंने आपको बताया है आपकी तब हेल्प कर सकते हैं जब आप कैश पेमेंट्स में डील कर रहे हो जब आप ऑनलाइन पेमेंट कर रहे हो तो तब आप इस पेमेंट ऑप्शन पे जाइए और अभी आपसे पूछ रहा है कि आप अपना बैंक अकाउंट ऐड कर लीजिए तो आप ऐड योर बैंक अकाउंट पे जाएंगे रिक्वायर्ड इन्फॉर्मेशन फिल करेंगे वेरीफाई करेंगे और फिर आपका बैंक अकाउंट भी लिंक हो जाएगा सिचुएशन रिज्यूम करवाती हूँ कि कोई पर्सन आपके पास आया और उन्होंने बोला कि हमने इतने इतने पैसे दे दिए थे आप झूठ बोल रहे हैं ये सब तो आप बस इस रिपोर्ट ऑप्शन पे जाइए अपनी पीडीएफ डाउनलोड कर लीजिए तो उस पर्सन से रिलेटेड जितने भी आपके ट्रांजैक्शन जो हैं उस पीडीएफ में सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन होगी क्या सामान लिया था किस दिन लिया था उसका बिल भी होगा तो इससे किसी भी तरीके की मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग नहीं हो पाएगी अब जैसे वन मंथ हो गए वन मंथ हो गया टू मंथ्स हो गए और वो पर्सन आपके पास नहीं आया आपके पैसे लौटाने तो आप इस व्हाट्सएप रिमाइंडर एस एम एस जाइए और ये फिर उस पर्सन को मैसेज भेज देगा कि आपके इतने इतने पैसे बचे हुए हैं प्लीज टाइम से लौटा दीजिए wow that was truly amazing such business apps will surely change the portrayal of business platforms what do you think samiksha yes sarthak i have no doubt on that we by bhavanites have not only been taught for brains but also for our hearts we believe that education without empathy has no value empathy is the ability to recognize feel and respond to the needs and sufferings of others Samiksha if i am not wrong and you indicating toward our next video presentation on empathy toward birds yes sir thak you got that right the next video presentation is an act of kindness towards those innocent birds who cannot speak for themselves and therefore we must become their voice nishtha verma shrey mittal anshuman mishra navya sareen raza haider vibhu bhatnagar and pari agrawal of grade 9 have made a bird house using tinker cat so without wasting any movement let's have a quick glimpse of their innovation As we all know that birds are one of the most beautiful creatures on our planet, and it's our responsibility to protect them. So here you can see that I have made a beautiful bird house to protect birds. To make it, I first designed it from Tinkercad, that is an easy-to-use 3D designing software, and then made it in reality with the same measurements and colors. And we know more than one million birds die of lack of shelter. This bird house can be very helpful for the birds. Thank you. Today 
where I level series of class 9B is going to show my bird house to you. This is my bird house on Tinkercad. I first made my bird house on Tinkercad to know about its accuracy, measurement, and how it will look when I create it. As you know, because of COVID-19, the people are not going out, and the nature is restoring itself. So nowadays, there are a lot of birds in my balcony. That is why I thought of making a birdhouse for them. The height of the birdhouse is six inches, and interior floor space is six into six inches. Birds keep the climate stable, oxygenate air and transform pollutants into nutrients. As birds are high up in the food chain, they are also good indicators of the general state of our biodiversity. Thus, protecting them must always be our top priority towards sustainable ecosystem. Yes, there is no doubt on that. And when we talk about sustainable development goals, how can we forget the 2030 agenda for sustainable development? Oh yes, I have been taught by my social science teacher in grade 10th that the agenda 2030 focuses on ensuring quality education to all by the year 2030 under the sustainable development goal number four, that is quality education. You are absolutely correct, Samiksha. And in our next presentation, we are going to showcase another act of kindness and responsibility by the Pal Bhava Knights toward those who deserve to get all the opportunities to be in the mainstream. And when it comes to maths, students must understand the concept, not only to score well in their exams, but also to understand and apply the knowledge in their daily life. This free of cost app provides interactive lessons so that the students can visualize the concept and learn in a better way. Let's watch this video by these innovative brains of our school. Anj Singh, Lakshya Goyal and Priyanshu Kumar Pandey under the guidance of their mentor, Ms. Alka Sharma Ma'am. So the main theme of our project is Mathify with the tagline Mathematics Made Gamified. So, there are many games available in our application. They are Algebraic Basketball, 3D Match, Make 24, Math Minor, and Game. So, basically, this is the app. Now, you get the home page. Here, you can see 5 Mathematics Game, Mathify, Mathematics Made Gamify. So, you get 5 games here. The first one is Algebraic Basketball. Let's open this. So the game has loaded completely. Now uh, you can see the instructions here and you can then start. So basically what you have to do is to solve equations. If you uh, correctly solve an equation, you get plus 10 points. And if you don't, it will uh, be minus 10 points. So you get total of 12 questions and you will have to solve equations to score points and goal the the second game is 3D Math. 
So here you have you have to uh, match the name of the shapes. So using this you can solve that. It will increase your mathematical uh, aptitude. The next game is Make 24. So in this you will have to uh, perform four basic operations and the final result should be uh, 24. For example, like this. So. Like this you have to make 24. Now the fourth game is Math Finder. You need to click on play. You have to select your standard and then the topic. So you have if you answer it correct, you will get gold, else you will uh, get trash or uh, like the bomb and it will reduce your life by one. The last game is penalty kick. This is basically a football game. So if you answer the question correctly, you will get a bonus point. So it's, it's like this, it's very interesting game. You can, so these were the 5 games. Uh, which makes mathematics gamified and you can uh, learn mathematics easily from this game. As we know students are not able to relate mathematics with their real life but in the games of Arath they have to solve real life problems by solving mathematics problems. Underprivileged children can use this app to learn mathematics in a gamified way for free. Brilliant. This was certainly an incarnation of the famous saying, where there is a will, there is definitely a way. This smart app has surely made mathematics a lot less frightening. In fact, maths has become more fun and interesting. Yes, Samiksha, I also feel the same. A maths teacher always says that the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. And the next presentation we are about to show is an interesting game designed by the ingenious brains of our school by using AI bot. Let's watch this video. Hi, I'm here to show you one of the most exciting games. This game had been played many times by you. Yes, I am talking about the number game. You might not be aware about this, but you always used to play this game with your friends. Let me tell you what this game is all about. In this game, firstly a number is selected that is somehow a big number. Then each player has to make his or her turn by choosing a number from a specific range. We usually take range as 1, 2 and 3. Number chosen by each player is added to zero subsequently. The player who lands or crosses the target number lost the game. Now you might got which game I am talking about. Some say it is based on luck while some say it is based on others turn. So an AI bot had been created that is based on deep learning and mathematical algorithms. This bot analyzes your pattern and will beat you. Isn't it interesting? Let's have a play once. Here is the AI bot. Let's run it. Firstly, before starting, it shows the instructions to play. Next, it asks for the end number or the target number. I let take 14. Next, it asks for the range. We usually take 3. Now the game has been started. I am entering any random number within the range. It will also correct us whenever we enter any number out of the range. As you can see, it beat me in the game. Have fun. Thank you. Superb. Learning through games. This will certainly instill an urge to learn mathematics among students because play is our brain's favorite way of learning. Playing games and quizzes makes us creative and competitive. 
and now is the time to check the knowledge and grip of all the balbhonites through a quiz on reasoning and tinkering those who will complete the quiz in stipulated time will be the winners we will show the result on our screen after its commencement let's log in with the given link for the quiz you may use the link given in the chat box or you may enter kahoot.it from your browser and enter the game pin the game pin is 1 5 4 3 Zero eight. I would like to repeat the game pin: one five seven seven eight zero eight. We'll be waiting for the participants to join in for the quiz. You can join at www.kahoot.it or with the Kahoot app. So here we have our first participant. Miss Dipanshi. As of now, we have ten participants on the board. Everyone, we request all the participants to quickly join the quiz. The game pin for today's quiz is one five seven seven eight zero eight. Enter this game pin in the Kahoot app or Kahoot dot it and let the game begin. And we have 77 participants on board with us: Krish, Tanvi, Shreya Singh, Ayush Kumar, Manika, Vishakha, Saurabh, Arshi, Piyush, and many more coming. I request all the participants to join fast, as we will soon begin with the quiz. We will wait for another minute for the participants to join in. And we now, have one seventy fun participants on the board: Bhumi, Tisha, Amit, Shristi, Avik, Mudit, Shauri, Shubham, and many more coming on the board to participate in this interesting quiz. Now we have crossed two hundred participants, so the quiz will start in the countdown: five, four, three, two, and the quiz starts. Here is the first question. The first question is: Look at the series two, one, one by two, one by four. What number should come next? In the red option, we have one by three. In the blue option, we have two by eight. In the yellow option, we have one by eight. And in the green option, we have one by sixteen. Till now, I can see hundred answers. And the last ten seconds. Answer fast to get the maximum points. Last five seconds and the countdown. Three, two, one, and the correct answer is option yellow, and that is one by eight. Ninety-two participants answered it correctly. Now, uh, now going to the leaderboard, we have Shub on the top of the leaderboard. Moving on to the next question, if paw is to cat, then hoof is to. In the red option, we have lamb. In the blue option, we have horse. In the yellow option, we have elephant. And in the green option, we have tiger. Hurry up, participants! It's a time-taking question, and 15 seconds are left. As of now, I can see 237 participants have answered it. And the countdown begins now. Five, four, three. Two, one, and the right answer is option blue. That is horse. And 94 participants have answered it correctly. So let's move on to the leaderboard to see who is leading the score. And here we have Pooja with 1,753 points, up to 72 places. Yashika Sharma is the highest climber. Congratulations, Yashika and Pooja. Moving on to the third question, a maths problem which will challenge your thinking ability. If one is equal to three and two is also equal to three, then what will three be equal to? In the red option, we have five. In the blue option, we have six. In the yellow option, we have three. 
and in the green option we have four i'll repeat the question maths problem which will challenge your thinking ability if one is equals to three and two is also equals to three then what will three be equal to in the red option we have five in the blue option we have six in the yellow option we have three and in the green option we have four till now i can see 250 plus answers and we have 20 more seconds for the participants to answer the question participants this is a fastest finger quiz so you have to answer correctly in the least time possible to so get the maximum marks and the last 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 one and the correct answer is option red 57 participants answered it correctly the least and leading now to the leaderboard on the top we have kartike a seventh class student and we have duvraj who is the highest climber up to 113 places congratulations And here comes the next question. Choose the alternative which closely resembles the mirror image of the given word Kutubgad. I would like to spell the word Q U T U B G A R H. Kutubgad. In the red option, we have one. In the blue option, we have two. In the yellow option, we have three. And in the green option, we have four. Hurry up, participants. Only 10 seconds left. And 185 participants have already answered it. The countdown begins. Three, two, one. And the right answer is option green. That is four. Oh my. 115 participants have already answered it correctly. So let's move on to the scoreboard to see who has answered it in the least time. And here we have Kartikeya still on the top with 3,562 3, points. And six players have already ans answered the streak with three, three. Moving on to the next question. If bank is related to money in the same way, what will transport be related to? In the red option, we have goods. In the blue option, we have road. In the yellow option, we have movement. And in the green option, we have traffic. I see 150 plus answers in less than 15 seconds. Last 10 seconds for the question, guys, and 250 plus answers. Last three seconds. Three, two, one. And the correct answer is option blue road. One, zero, three participants answered correctly. Now, leading to the scoreboard, we have Karthike still on the top. Here is the next question on your screen. What will be the next number? 6, 5, 24, 25, 144. Then what comes next? In the red option, we have 175. In the blue option, we have 160. In the yellow option, we have 155. And in the green option, we have 170. Hurry up, participants. Only 10 seconds left. And we have 130 participants already answered the question. And the countdown begins. Three, two, one, and the right answer is option red, 175. 74 participants have answered it correctly. Don't lose hope if you have answered it incorrectly. So let's move on to the scoreboard. And here we have Karthikeya still leading on the top with 4,112 points. And 11 players have, have reached the answer T3. Now leading to the next question, choose the correct option. If 100 is to 121, then what will be 144 proportional to? Option red, 160. Option blue, 93. Option yellow, 169. And option green, 426. Choose the correct option. Only 10 seconds left and I have 150 plus responses. Last five seconds, five. Four, three, two, one, and the correct answer is option yellow, 169. Highest number of participants answered it correctly till now. Now leading to the scoreboard. 
and there is a change in the scoreboard ispreet singh is now on the top with 4815 marks congratulations ispreet and here comes question number 8 which word does not belong with the others i would like to repeat myself which word does not belong with the others in the red option we have index in the blue option we have glossary in the yellow option we have chapter and in the green option we have book hurry up participants only 10 seconds left and 220 plus participants have already answered it starting the countdown here we have 3 2 1 and the right answer is option green that is book 52 participants have answered it correctly don't lose hope participants if you have answered it wrong so let's move on to the scoreboard to see who is who has answered it correctly in the least time and here we have on the top again kartikeya of class 7th b with 5563 points and kartikeya 7 of class 7th b is making a comeback with three in a row now moving on to the next question my favorite look at the series 12 11 13 12 14 13 what number should come next i'll repeat the question look at the series 12 11 13 12 14 13 what number should come next in the red option we have 10 in the blue option we have 16 in the yellow option we have 13 and in the green option we have 15 only 5 second left guys 5 4 3 2 1 and the correct answer is option green 15 and highest number of participants have answered it correctly congratulations everybody now moving on to the scoreboard we have the kartike still on the top leading the scoreboard and vaibhav is the highest climber with 69 places up congratulations guy and now moving on to the last question of the quiz which of the answer figures is exactly the mirror image of the question figure with the mirror held at xy i would like to repeat myself which of the answer figure is exactly the mirror image of the question figure when the mirror is held at xy in option red we have one in the option blue it is image 2 in the option yellow we have image 3 and in the option green we have image 4 Hurry up participants 35 second left and 193 participants have already answered it Hurry up participants in order to get the highest position or highest points in the scoreboard all of you must have to answer it correctly in the least stipulated time So 10 seconds left and 267 participants have already answered it So the countdown begins. Three, two, one, and the right answer is option red. And once one forty-five members have already answered it correctly. Now is the everybody. time for the most awaited result of our quiz. And on the third position, we have Vishwa Mohan. And in the second position, we have Pooja Ji. And on the top, leaving everyone behind, we have Kartike of Class Seven B with seven thousand seventy-nine points and answering nine out of ten questions correctly. Congratulations, winners! Congratulations to all the winners for their spectacular performance. and the participants should not lose their hope next time do try your best by the way sarthak i want to ask you a riddle to check your mental awareness what riddle please ask if you buy a rooster for the purpose of laying eggs and you expect to get 3 eggs each day for breakfast how many eggs will you have after one week i would like to repeat myself If you buy a rooster for the purpose of laying eggs and you expect to get 3 eggs each day for the breakfast how many eggs will you have after one week 
Oh, such an easy reader it is. I have bought one rooster who lays three eggs every day. A week has seven days. So three into seven, it's 21. Yes, 21 eggs. No, Sartha, you got that wrong. Zero eggs because roosters do not lay eggs. I know my riddle was a little kiddish, but we have another genius Bhavanite with us who will baffle you all with some amazing max tricks. Oh, here. Yeah. Let's welcome Ispreet Singh Kaluja from grade 8F to show some maths hacks. A very good afternoon to one and all present here. My name is Ispreet Singh and I welcome you all to Matrix session with Ispreet. And if you are curious about Matrix, then it is basically maths tricks. So today's session will definitely give you a hindsight of how maths exists around us everywhere and how learning maths can be fun. So here I am with some mind-blowing hacks and activities of maths in our everyday life. But can we just listen to maths without doing it? No. So kindly bring the material that I'm going to tell you. First, a calendar. Second, one origami sheet or pastel sheet. Third, a pen and a paper. And fourth and last, five to seven coins. Let's wait for some time. So let me tell you that we will be going to discuss five tricks. First, calendar trick, second, multiplication trick, third, square trick, fourth, coin trick, and fifth, origami. So, by now, I think you all must have brought the materials. So, the very first trick is the calendar trick. Have you heard about it? Now, let me show it to you. You all can also open the calendars on your devices. Now, I will mark a 3x3 three three grid, as you all can see. Likewise, I request you to, to take a 3x3 three three grid. Have you selected your grid? Awesome! Now, all you must do is add all the 9 numbers inside the grid. Like the sum of my grid is 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 14 plus 15 plus 16 plus 21 plus 22 plus 23 is 135. Have you found yours too? Okay. So the sum of my grid is 135. Now like you can see the middlemost number lying in the grid that is 15 multiply it with 9. Why 9? Because there are 9 numbers inside the grid. So 15 into 9 is equal to 135. Are you getting the same answer as the sum of all 9 digits in 3 by 3 grid? Yes. Well, that was a 3x3 three three calendar trick. Let's move further with the next trick, which is multiplication trick. All you must do is choose a tens digit number. But for this trick, we have two conditions. First, the sum of ones digit will be 10. Second, the number on tens digit will be saved. So friends, let us take an example, hmm, 24 into 26, okay, the number on one's digit that is 4 and 6, the sum of these numbers is 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 and the number on 10th digit is same, that is 2, therefore, first we will multiply 2 by 3 as what comes after 2, yes, 3, so 2 by 3 is 6. And we will multiply 4 and 6 and we will be getting 24. Now we will combine both our answers and we will be getting 24 into 26 is equal to 624. Have you found yours too? Wow. Let's move further. I think this trick is going to help 6 to 8 students a lot. This is square trick. In this trick, we have is finding the square of a number ending with 5. This is a very very easy trick. Now let us take a number ending with 5. Say 85. 
Now to find the square of this number, all you need to do is find the square of the last digit, which is 5 here. And the square of 5 is 25. Now we are left with 8. So what to do with 8? Well, what comes after 8? Yes, 9. And what is 8 into 9? Of course, it's 72. Now, add that 72 in front of 25, making it 7225. Therefore, the square of 85 is 7225. Are you finding your solution too? Nice. Exciting, right? So, the fourth trick we will be going to discuss is coin trick. For this, you have to bring 5 to 7 coins, as the name suggests. And the fifth is origami. For this, you have to bring pastel or origami sheet. Let's wait for some time so that you can keep the materials ready with you. Anyway, let's move further with the trick. I suppose you all have brought the coins by now. Now, all you need to do is divide the coins in an odd even ratio. Like I have here with me 7 coins. And I am going to divide it in 3 by 4 ratio. Where 3 is odd and 4 is even. Now I will guess which hand of yours is having the odd ratio of coins and which is having even. All you need to do is multiply the ratio of coins in the left hand with 3 and the one in the right hand with 4 and then add both. What is your total coming? So, if you are getting even solution, then surely you had even ratio of coins in the left hand and odd ratio of coins in the right hand. And if you are getting odd solution, then surely you had odd ratio of coins in the left hand and even ratio of coins in the right hand. Am I correct? Yes. Well, that's the power max holds. It gives us hope that every problem has a solution. Now, moving to the last activity of the day, which is origami activity, which is also called paper folding. It was invented thousands of years back by the Japanese. Different math concepts like spatial visualization, intersecting planes, area and volume, mirror images and many other things can be learned through this discipline of math. Origami can also be used to teach symmetry. Now let me teach you how to make a butterfly using origami method. I request you to keep a square sheet of paper, preferably of some thickness, like a pastel sheet ready with you. Ready? Okay. Let me tell you the procedure. So like you can see, I have this square sheet with me. So I will fold the square sheet to make this one title like this. I will press it. Then I will make the second diagonal by folding it like this. Then I will fold it in a shape of a rectangle like this. Likewise from other side also. Now we will be obtaining this shape. Now we will turn it and we'll press two bases like this. It might take some time. Yeah, like this. Yes, we will be getting a big triangle. Now we will hold this edge and will fold it like this from its base. Likewise, we will do from the other side also. Now we will hold this and will fold it like this. 
if you are getting this small triangle then definitely you are doing correct and you will get a butterfly now what we will do is fold this triangle like this and then we will fold this figure like this we'll press it the last step will be we have to open its wings like this we'll hold it from here and the butterfly is ready yeah now you must be wondering why butterfly well butterflies are beautiful creatures that represent change hope endurance and courage to embrace the transformations that make life better and in today's time all we wish is for the betterment of human life with this i would like to end the matrix session with ishpree thank you and have a great day ahead wow thank you ishpree these hacks and tricks were really amazing and now i would like to acknowledge the benign presence of our guest of the day ms dipanshi technical and program lead having more than 3 years of experience in the field of stem and programming and has invented more than 35 innovative projects ma'am has also mentored around 9000 students in the field of stem and coding and app development ma'am we are indeed grateful for your kind presence ma'am you hardly need any introduction the woman of distinct vision and a fountain head of illuminating ideas an idol of knowledge and experience and an in inspiration to all of us ma'am we are indeed delightful to have you among us as our chief guest ma'am i request you to please share your valuable thoughts and insight with all of us ma'am kindly do the honors Ma'am, it seems you are not audible. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much for your kind welcome. So, uh, you can say the quizzes. So, this was very very interesting for me also to attend the quiz. Actually, I have also played the quiz, so that was really nice. Right. So nicely you have organized it. So thanks for uh, like. inviting me for this now uh, i will be talking here about the importance of math in our lives and why we should understand like maths concepts right so nowadays what we are doing we all are learning through the online classes we all are learning through the books or some videos right now what we are going to do we are going to do some practicals based on the concepts we are learning in our classes actually i will tell you if you explore more then you are going to learn more okay so with this i will be sharing my screen and telling you about the basics the maths and this is going to be related to the geometry okay so i am presenting my screen just let me know if that is visible to you is it sarthak is it visible uh mom yes, i guess it's yes mom yes mom it's it visible. is visible it's visible okay, thanks so with this i am going to start with the 3d designing concept right now what we have done we have actually done just a 2d paintings we have done that origami was also in the 2d right so what i am going to just uh, include some of the concepts of 3d designing in this using the basic uh, shapes so right now uh, you all have aware about the geometrical shapes the geometrical uh, components which we use so uh, we will be working on the uh, shapes of 2d and 3d first let's analyze what is the difference between 2d and 3d right so in two dimension as you can see the first shape it is the pentagon shape so you can see it is having five sides that's it it is just a paper right it is it is not having any height right and the second shape you will see it is cylinder cylinder means it is having some dimensions in the height as well if you will just flatten it you will see just one circle if you will increase the height you will see it is a cylinder okay let's go to the third shape it is box you can say 
In 2D shape, this is also called as a square, but in 3D it is called as cube or cuboid. Then fourth shape is also a 2D shape, which is hexagon. And fifth shape is uh, like similar to the triangle, but it is not triangle. It is cone because it is in 3D, right? And then we have the sixth shape, which is oval, right? And with these, like we are going to combine these shapes and going to create some 3D models. Secondly, uh, what we are going to understand in this is the concept of angles. OK, why angles are important, right? Then third thing I would like to uh, make some uh, architecture projects here. So for that the designing models can be you can also try to make. I will just tell you the uh, I will show you just way you have to design by your own. So you can design some buildings like this. You can design some uh, animals or robots like this. So this is up to you. Whatever you want to design, I can just show you the way how to design. OK, so if I'll say like 3D designing or the maths, these both things are used everywhere. If you will go in the fashion designing, if some girl want to go in the fashion designing, then also she has to learn the maths, right? You have to like cut something. You have to measure it. You have to measure the angles. You have to measure the uh, sides using the scale something. So everywhere you are going to use the measuring concepts, OK? Even the carpenters, everyone who is working and creating something is going to use maths. So with this, I'm stopping my presentation. Just I'm showing you my uh, one second. Just everyone, please open your Chromes and then log in on the tinkercare.com. The link I will share in the chat box. Please find this link. One second, I'm again sending the link. the link it may be delivered to you now. Everyone please go to tinkercad.com and this is the screen you will see once you will reach to the website. I request everyone to click on join now or sign in using their uh, uh, create a personal account then just select a Google. It means any Gmail account you can select either yours or your parents. What is Tinkercad? Actually, it is free. It is free of cost 3D designing uh, platform where you can design whatever you can think, right? Sometimes we think that this thing can be in some different shapes. You can design over here. This is free of cost. You can log in using any Gmail ID. I'm doing the login here. You will see the inside interface. Right now in this platform we can do 3D designing. We can create circuits. We can do code blocks and there are lessons as well. So first of all, we are going to click on create new design to see how to create a design. Sartak, you can see my screen, right? Yes, ma'am. OK, thanks. Platform looks like this. You can see in this platform uh, first of all the thing which will attract you that on the right hand side we have these shapes. OK, these all are 3D shapes, not the 2D shape. You will see half sphere. You will see pyramid. You will see round roof, roofs, cones. Each and every shape is in this form of 3D. OK, then in the center we have some graph paper like a structure. 
in this you will see there here you can work on the mms you will see the show grids this is in mms you can work in mms or you can change the size aap iske andar centimeters par bhi kaam kar sakte ho inches mein kab bhi kaam kar sakte ho right so right now we will work on the mms only right and then on the left hand side we have this view cube on which you can just change the view angle right through which direction you want to see your model just drag it and then you will see your model right now i will view it from top and front okay now let's create something okay so first of all i am taking a box i will tell you how to change the dimension box is the 3d shape so we will be having length width and height we will be having three dimensions here let's see how we can change them so when i am clicking on the corner you will see length width so you can change it let's say i will change it to 50 you will see the dimension has been changed right now this dimension if you want to change then click here and change it let's say i will make it more 60 you will see and this is how you can move the view cube to see it from all the sides this is very interesting for all age groups for all classes okay now next it comes to the height third component kya tha height that you can drag as well you can write here whatever you want to write let's say i will write 80 here now you will see the height okay now my sides are 50 i will change it to 50 as well 50 50 and 90 so this is just a box okay now i want to create some space here let's say i want to create a pen stand right now i'm going to create a pen stand in which i will be having some hollow area inside right now this is solid i cannot put anything inside main iske andar abhi kuch bhi nahi rakh sakti hu ye pura ekdam solid hai okay now here we have one more box dekho just with the solid box we have hollow box as well right now just drag it now change its dimension that was 50 50 so i will do it 40 and 40 less than that okay so that there will be some boundaries there will be some walls some solid walls okay that's why this is 50 and 50 and this one is 40 and 40 now let's come to the height height you can make at least let's say let's let's make it equal then i will show you what is the difference i am making it 80 again they both are same same height with the same height if you want to see the heights you can see from here the heights are same okay now let's drag it inside isko idhar drag karke laate hain and let's put it here right now this is connected but they are not like joined together to so join karne ke liye yahan pe option hota hai we have one option here is that we can group in the microsoft word microsoft powerpoints everywhere we have options of group to combine two things so here i am combining two of the shapes one hollow and one solid let's see i am clicking on this group it is control g is the shortcut also now you will see that inside it is having like full hole because the side was 80 and 80 kyunki height humne same kar di thi 80 and 80 now you will see you can just see through this right now this is not complete i guess because if you will put something inside then it is not going to be like uh, the pen holder is not going to hold your pens right now i am just doing the ungroup here and showing you what we have to do so in this you can raise up your model so i am just raising the hollow one this hollow one i am raising no wait i will select this hollow shape and i will raise it up you will see the hollow one is raised up now let's group it again and check one got raised then you will see the solid at the bottom okay 
So this is how you can design. You can analyze the 3D designs. You can change uh, the shapes. You can group the shapes. You can add more shapes if you want. Like this you can do. You can just uh, write your some alphabets also. Let's see. You can just decorate it as well. Let's say I will decorate it with the spheres. So this is the sphere. I am dragging it up and attaching it. Actually, when you're working in the 3D, you have to look at your model from all the sides. It is not necessary that you will see it from the bottom, from the right, front. I have to see it from all the sides if it is OK. OK, let's align it in the center. Now to align in the center, we have also have option here is aligning center. There is option. Align on the right top. Let's align it in the center like this and from the height also. I will align it in the center. Got it? Like this, you can decorate your models with so many shapes. You can design it and you can group it. I will group it. The colors can also be changed. You will see is can there up colors be change kar sakte ho. Let's say you can change it to yellow, some blue colors or some magenta colors and the color of uh, sphere. If you want to change, you can just right click on the multiple colors. That's it. OK. Now, this was the basic. If uh, you want to ask anything, I am going to check the Q&A. Please write down if you have some doubts. Can someone write if you have some doubts you can write. This is the 3D designing platform. OK, I guess there are no chats. OK, it is in Q&A. Siddharth. Yeah, one second. Yes, Q&A one second. So. There are options uh, published or dismissed. Published published one. OK, so someone is writing nice concept. Ma'am done the login. OK, great. I am very interested to know about 3D creating shapes. OK, that's good. OK, so we are having time, so I would like to create one 3D building for you, right? So that is going to be one of the wonder of the world. So we are going to create leaning tower of pizza here, right? So I hope my screen will be visible. Is it? Yes, mom. OK, so I'm starting a new model. I will be a little quick here. Just understand how I'm creating. Right, if you're not able to do it right now, so after this webinar, you can take your time. You can work on this, explore the options, then you can do it. It is not necessary that you have to do it right now. Just understand the concept. That's it. Right, so we are starting. Let's open a picture as well of. So that I can relate it with the 3D model. Yeah. So we have the picture here. We will try to replicate this. Let's say this one. OK. So this is the picture. We are going to make something like this. So let's begin. So can anyone uh, actually cannot write? So in this I will tell you what we are going to use. We are going to use most of the cylinders. If you will see the whole build is looking like a cylinder. All the pillars are looking like in the form of cylinders. OK, the one by one all the uh, you can say floors are also like in the form of cylinders, so we will create it like that. Let's come back to the designing. I'm taking the first shape which is cylinder. First, let's create the first layer. Let's do it. The dimensions 80 and 80 mm. Each and every dimension is in mm because uh, millimeters we have set it from here. You can see at the bottom you have to mm hoga, right? So I'm working in the mm. This is not in centimeters. Everything is mm. Now 
you will see that uh, this cylinder is not very much smooth right this is not smooth you will see the lines here now to minimize this problem we have the sides we can increase the sides if we have more sides then the shape will be more smooth height let's come to the height i will do the height 40 over here this is let's say the first floor okay now let's create the thinner circles for the pillars to create the thin circle i am just changing the dimension of one more cylinder to 5 mm mms and 5 mm and the height will be same whatever was this 40 and this will again be 40 now these pillars you will attach these pillars you can see in the picture as well right now i have just attached one pillar and what i am thinking that i need have to use so many pillars so i will copy and paste these pillars let's see how this is very important i am just putting it aside or let's do it at one of the site which is in the mirror image you all know mirror image the one question was also there in the quiz control c control v is the shortcut of copy and paste now let's put it on the opposite side as well like this now i have two pillars what i am going to do is very easy i'm selecting these two shapes in dono shapes ko maine ek sath select kiya right now after selecting it i am duplicating it means the both will be duplicated and i, I am changing its angle angle is important because when you are creating the pillars you want your each and every pillar at the same distance at the equal distances so i am just rotating it in uh, let's say 45 degrees okay so let's see we have the duplicated shape in 45 degrees now let's do it more times okay so i have pillars like this actually what i see that here also i have pillars at more distance now i will duplicate it again and move it at one more angles less than this means 22.5 pe i have done now i will again duplicate it one second just let me just select it again no i am not able to select give me some time i will select this and this duplicate move in angles like this again duplicate again duplicate now you can see okay so we have pillars also ready and we have the base also ready now let's group it selecting all and grouping it this is group now i have the proper shape now ready you can see now pillars are not looking like they are out of this shape it looks it they are combined right now we will try to create the windows like we have did in the pen stand pen stand mein humne beech mein hollow kiya tha na in the same way we will be creating some hollow windows here now let's see how to create windows for that i am using one box going to, or we have some roof shape also i will directly use a roof shape okay we have the roof shape i will make the shape hollow one second i am changing the dimensions yes i am making it so that it can pass through one window to another
let's say my shape is like this. OK, I'm increasing its height like this. And if I show you show this to you from the top, you will see the shape is passed through. OK, you can change the dimensions each and everything you can change as per your choice. Aapko jaisa theek lagta hai, aap waise isko change kar sakte ho. Theek hai? Now, let's not move it. I'm dragging it up and making this shape as whole. This is whole for me because windows are actually a whole. This is hollow now. Right now you can see my shape is whole. This is not passed. One second. Yes. Now let's again combine the shapes. This is called as group option. Now you will see we have window like this. OK. The shape has been cut. The solid shape has been cut through this hollow shape or the shape of round roof. And like this you can create more windows. Let's ungroup and duplicate the same window. I want all the windows to be equal. Mujhe sare windows ek hi jaise chahiye. So I am duplicating it and rotating it like this. Okay. So I have now four windows. The angles play a very important role here. Like you have seen in the uh, scene of pillars also, like in the scene of windows also, measuring the angle or moving in the particular angle is very important. Otherwise your model will not be accurate. Right now let's again select and group it. Right. Now there are four windows and through all those windows I can see through. Let's see the shape. What else is left? So I need to create the same thing. One, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six times. OK. Let's do it. Actually before that I will put a separator between all those. So I am putting a separator between all the floors. So that there will be some separation. The dimensions are changing length and width. Aligning it in the center. OK, now you will see the image is the mirror image. If you will cut it from uh, these X and Y axis, this image is the mirror image like a shape. Now let's group. Now the rest steps are very simple. Aage ke steps zyada simple hai. You just have to duplicate it. Drag it up. Like this. The same shape is duplicated and dragged up. Now again, let's do the same thing. Duplicate and repeat. Duplicate and repeat like this. OK. I hope you all can see this. Now, if it is done, you can select all and group it. I'm not going into the more detail. If you want, you can go in more details. You can create everything similar. Yes, windows, pillars, everything you can make similar. OK, now. The whole shape is also moved at some angles, right? So can anyone uh, like tell me what we have to do now? Abhi kya kar sakte? We can rotate it. Yes, I'm checking the Q&A. It is going to be tilted. Yes. OK. Great. 
So now we are going to do the same. We are going to tilt it. But actually, I want to see at which angle it is tilted. Can anyone find it out so that we can do the same? Please find out. This is your task. Please find out the angle if we can find. Otherwise, I will uh, move it in some angles. Koi bata sakte ki kitne angle pe tilt hota hai? It is lean at 5.5 degrees. It is leaning at 5.5 degrees. I have checked it. So we'll do the same in our design as well. So let's select it all. Control A, grouping it together. Pura ek saath group karna hai. Now this all is grouped and we will rotate it from the top view. We will lean it. One second. Yes. This is the rotation and from here I'll lean it at 5.5 degrees. I guess it is not in the correct direction. It is leaning on the right hand side. So we'll change it. Control Z and we will lean it at minus 5.5 degrees. Right. Got it everyone? You can see the difference between moving 5.5 in the clockwise direction and moving 5.5 in the anti clockwise direction. So this one looks perfect for me. You can create all other shapes at the top as well. You can modify it and then in the last I will show you a few of the models created by me also. Let's see. So when I was taking the classes, I have created some of the designs. So the one design is the arc reactor we have made. It may be loading, please wait. One second, it is having some problem. So like this, you can see the first we have done is the arc reactor. I will show you like this only. We have created some pizza slices. We have created a some small. One second. Yeah, so we have created the submarines. We have created some cakes as well. You can create some uh, uh, submarines like this as well. OK, you can create the mazes. So like this, you can create so many things as per your choice here. Aap apne hisaab se koi bhi shapes ko le ke, you can design. This is the airship. This is a kind of uh, Christmas tree. You can design some fans, some cycles, some scooters. Any design you can create on this. OK, I hope you all are getting these designs. Some of them are loading right now. You can create some helicopters like this. Let's see if that will be visible. It takes some time in the loading because if you will use more of the shapes, it will take time in loading. Now you can see. OK. Like this helicopters also you can make the uh, center shape was made by the sphere. These all are the cylinders cut the and these are fans. OK, so like this you can just analyze any of the shape and create over here. OK, everyone, so this was it, I guess. OK. So we will be discussing more in detail and you can also explore it. Exploration doors are always open. You can go on YouTube. You can go on Internet. You can search whatever you want and please do something. Just not see everything at least do. Then you will understand it better. 
okay so this is it for the today from my side i hope you all have liked it okay thank you thank you so much ma'am for sharing your expertise and insights with all of us now i request our honorable principal sir to kindly share his word of wisdom of incalculable value with all of us sir please do the honors thank you sarthak thank you samiksha uh, greetings and good afternoon to everybody uh, i welcome uh, ms dipanshi on this platform and uh, ma'am your experience the way you have uh, you know created uh, the leaning tower of pisa and the way you have explained the 3d objects in tinkercad i think it was very very exemplary and uh, i'm sure our students will be benefited out of it and they will be using uh, these techniques to create more more, more such models in future as well uh, the presentations by the school students on the uh, existing apps and the way they are helping the community to use those apps uh, i congratulate those students for uh, their endeavors in this regard and the students you know who have created the um, you know apps for themselves like uh, maths app was created maths games were created i really feel proud that you belong to my school and we really look forward for many more uh, wonderful apps from all of you uh, you know students this is the time where we are all looking at skill development and coding and when we talk about tinkercad or any such platform i think this is going to add a lot of value to you uh, to your skill education so that's very very important the national education policy 2020 has of lately um, uh, you know emphasized on the um, uh, skill development and uh, how the school should take it up from grade 6 onwards keeping that in view cbsc has also taken out a circular intimating the schools to start coding from class 6 onwards i i suppose and i assume that the teachers in the school are taking care of all that and students will be getting benefit in the days to come uh, plus the atal tinkering platform the um, kind of work the uh, uh, entire atal community of the school is doing i congratulate them for their uh, wonderful efforts and uh, we really uh, sincerely look forward to have many more new sessions like this um, month after month the kind of events that you are uh, presenting to us the kind of work that you are uh, exhibiting to us i think it's extraordinary and uh, this deserves complete appreciation i take this opportunity to uh, congratulate especially the entire uh, maths department of the school who have worked very ardently to uh, present today's event and the way the students were prepared the way you have involved the students i think it's it's absolutely absolutely fantastic uh, heartiest congratulations to you and i congratulate all the other uh, teachers who who remain associated with the event um, i think uh, this is the first in our uh, uh, first of our attempt where we are asking you to fill up the attendance links uh, i think my team is going to share that in the chat as well so please do that uh, tech team if you have not done that uh, so far and all the students who have attended today's session you will be receiving um, uh, you know the certificate of participation uh, in the days to come from our side uh, mentioning that you have been a part of this webinar we really look forward to have many more sessions with you where we will be able to you know uh, come up with new ideas new innovations uh, just one thing that i really wish from my student side is that uh, try and explore you know don't try to copy try and find out what are the problems around you and when you are able to identify those problems and when you try you take an attempt to give a solution to those problems that is the real innovation and that is the work you're doing for the community and that is the purpose of uh, you know celebrating the satl community day every month so i really um, you know look forward to have many more enthralling uh, projects from all of you uh, as all of you already know we are soon going to have our uh, annual science exhibition also in the month of august you have already worked really very hard the projects have reached the teachers uh we will be having uh, this is to announce here uh, this year the annual science exhibition will be a little different La, you know we did we did celebrate the annual science exhibition last year virtually uh, but this year the platform is going to change and the way we are expecting it to come out uh, it will be something something that you are really going to look forward to so i really wish that each one of you participate in this event uh, give your best come out with your original ideas that's the key 
because uh, you know we want to see your thinking level we want to hone your creativity and innovation if we are able to see that you are the winner for us so the purpose of animal science exhibition is not to uh, you know just create the exhibition uh, and replicate the models and ideas that are already available but we really look forward to see how far can you think how far can you reach and show it to the world that you have it within yourself so that's the spirit with which i would want to close today's session and uh, once again real thanks to stem robo for um, uh, you know um, deputing dipanshi ma'am uh, from your team for who came here and uh, you know explained the concept of 3d uh, modeling on tinkercad thank you once again ma'am for being here with us this afternoon thank, thank you so, you so much, much. so actually one more thing i would like to add is uh, we are having our uh, one second i'll present the screen then i'll show you sure. we are having some online courses as well uh, on which you can just go and log in you will get all the contents and documents uh, where you can get the ideas how to create the 3d designs so our online learning management system is the tinkerlearning.com in this you will get the free access of the this, this 3d designing course this is the 3d designing course the attendees who are there in the class so i would like to uh, give them the access of this so that they can explore they can create by their own so this is the course of 3d designing actually we are having so many courses so if this workshop was only on 3d designing so some students are saying that i want to make a airship i want to make a helicopter so for that uh, we are just uh, giving the access over here to you all for this you will be uh, giving some email id so that we can give provide you the access so here you can create the everything there are so many models the captain shield a house you can create you can create you can learn how to convert the shape study into 3d we can create uh, any designs there are so many courses so many lessons and topics so for this what is to uh, participants has to do they has to give their email ids to the teachers then we will provide you the free access of this this is also free of cost so if someone actually wants to explore actually they want to do something so we can give this access to all the participants okay right so thank you day. thank you so much for um, updating us with that information the panchi ma'am yes. i think the students will really get benefit out of it and they can yes. actually experiment and try their own uh, self uh, to create new things thank you so much for sharing that okay sir Thank you. Thank you so much, sir and ma'am, for always guiding us and helping us to carve a niche for ourselves in the world. We assure you that we will put our best efforts to follow your footsteps and make Balbhavan proud of its prodigies. With this, we conclude today's event. as told by the sir we have shared an attendance link in the chat box so kindly click on the attendance link and submit your attendance those who will submit their attendance will also get a participation certificate from our school thank you for connecting with us this afternoon stay yeah, home just one more thing sartak before we close down i think some participants are saying that the attendance link is not working so what you can do is you can copy the link uh, and save it in your note uh, notepad or anywhere on your desktop so this link will be active for another 25 minutes and at 2:30 we'll be closing the link so uh, try and fill up uh, the same uh, at the latest by 2:30 uh, in case there are any restrictions tech team please uh, remove those restrictions because we have some stu school students participating from overseas and other uh, uh, areas of delhi and ncr so they should be allowed to fill up the attendance link please do that thank you so much then sir thank you so much sir so as told by the sir the link will be active till 2:30 so every participant is requested to fill the link and get the certif participation certificate stay home stay safe thank you